well, 15 plus nine, um, I actually look up Jacobian and uh, I found that he actually has a crater on the moon by his name. And for the first problem, uh, we are giving the transformation between UV and XY. So that makes things simple, the first one. Then the second one over here, they also give you the transformation. They let X equal this, uh, Y equal this. So the region that we have over here is, is this region. So I graph it, we have this region. And this region is, an, is not a type one or type two region, okay? So yet when we integrate, then we have a hard time to, to write that integral in, in the way that we want. So we need to do a transformation and turn this region into a region, either type one or type two. And uh, preferably it will be a rectangle if we can do that. So, but this one here, we can, they gave us this transformation, x equal this, y equal this, that actually turn into this region over here. So turn into this region, which is uh, a region that is a type one region, right? The V is bounded above and below, and the U is going from a constant to another constant. Then that way we can write that in, in the double integral this way. So we go from this lower one to this upper one, and then you go from this constant to this constant right here, like that. So, and that's the idea. So you're trying to make, transform this region into a region that is either type one or type two on the UV plane, okay? And then we can calculate the Cobian and all those and just follow the, the, the formula, okay? And for number two, I actually did a different transformation than the one they, they, they gave uh, in this exercise. So instead of the transformation they gave over here, I look at the, so I look at the, the region that they, they gave, the R, and I noticed that all those equations uh, follow a similar pattern. So this two, if I put the X and Y together and then keep a constant on the other side, this equation turn into this equal to two over three, this equal to three over two. So that is gonna suggest that if I make the V to be this, okay, actually I can also let U to be this, but I pick me to be this, then V is going to be between two, two there to three half because the, the boundary, the boundary of the original region was, was this one and this one. So boundary and the transformation is going to, and the, when, you, when you do transformation, the boundary is going to map to a boundary. So if I let this to be V, here, V is going to go from, okay, the V over here go from two over three to three over two, that way. And similarly, if you look at this equation and this equation, they have a, a pattern right here. So it's X, Y on this side, and then this side is a constant. So we're gonna let U to be this X times Y, that way U is going to be between uh, two over three to three half that way. So as you can see over here, then U is going, because boundary, it's going to map to boundary. So the, the corresponding boundary in the, on this UA plane here will be U equal to two there and U equal to three half. So, and then the, the region, original region is going to map to this uh, rectangle, and in this case, it's actually a square, okay? It's in the square. And that is gonna make our, make our integral here easier to compute using Jacobian, okay? So at that time, then we compute the Jacobian over here, okay? Then put it here and then transfer everything convert into U and V, okay? And then we find that you go from this, to this number, we go from this number to this number, 
and then the then the integral is much easier to compute. So that would suggest that. And besides, if you look at the function that you integrate with on here, and uh, it's five times x one. So that kind of suggests uh, if we let u do equal to x times y, that is going to make this integral simpler, right? So u equal x y is actually a good choice right here. Okay. So you look at the pattern of those the region of R. Okay. You look at the boundary line and you look at those equation, and you you want to see is it the pattern. Okay. Put that in a, like this. So if you have a pattern, and then you also look at the function to integrate with, then you want to make it simpler. So you let x times y to be u. Okay. And so you look at both this one and the function you integrate with to pick the u and v. So, and then for number three here, this one here, they they give you uh, this, the region right here, right? So this form. And I look at them, I see that there's a pattern. See, this side is the same, x minus two, right? This side is constant. So that suggests that I let u equal to x minus two, y. And then I, I would suggest that uh, it would suggest also that v equals three x minus y. That way, u is going to be between zero and ten. V is going to be between one and ten. And that is a good choice because you look at the function that you integrate with. The x minus two y become u, and then this three x minus y become v. Then the function you integrate with will become simpler. It's u over v. So that will suggest the transformation like that. And then when you do this transformation, the original region is going to become a rectangle. And then using Jacobian, then we can actually uh, find that integral uh, much easier, right? Okay, good. So this is number three. And then uh, actually number four. So number five uh, also feel, uh, similar. However, this time, the region, the original region R is given by this inequality. Then what do we do? Uh, the, if you divide both sides by six, the absolute value of X plus the absolute value of Y is less than or equal to one. And then in this region here is actually this region. How did I come up with this? Well, uh, I first think about uh, the, if both X and Y are positive, so X plus Y will be equal to one. So it will be this nine segment here, okay? Uh, I just look at the boundary line. Okay, X plus Y equal to one is this one. And then I also have X plus Y, the other one over here. If I want the absolute value sum up to less than or equal to one, then it has to be, the X and Y absolute value couldn't be too large, couldn't be more than one. So. So the x over here is actually between negative one and one. The y has to be between negative one and one also. So the, the, the four point, you actually see it, okay? So the, the other boundary here, I, I will see that is x plus y equal negative one. That way, the absolute value of this is going to be, um, it's going to sum up to less, uh, it's going to sum up to one along this line right here, okay? So, and then for this one over here is, uh, after you have this point, this point, right? This point, this point, and then you, you connect them right here. This is x minus y equal to negative one, okay? This is x minus y equal to one. Uh, the way that I figured this out, I, I first get this one and then figure this out. But now I think about it, uh, this region, yeah. So think about this region, right? The absolute value x here um, cannot be greater than one. So, so the smallest y you can get here is zero. Uh, the smallest absolute value here you can get for this absolute value y here is zero. Then absolute value x is less than or equal to one. So x has to be between negative one and one. Similar, y has to be between negative one and one. And so the boundary will be like this. So I know this region is this green region here and here. So I found that. Now, if you're looking at this, x 
x plus y is equal to 1, x plus y equal to negative 1. So that would suggest that I net u to be x plus y, because that way u is going to be between negative 1 and 1. So we get u is going to be between negative 1 and 1. And then the other two over here, we have x minus y equal to negative 1 x minus y equal to 1. So that would suggest that I let x minus y to be v. Then v is going to be between negative 1 and 1. And then that region under this transformation is going to turn into this square right here, this rectangle right here. Okay. So that's that's uh, that's how I pick the, uh, the u and v. And that also so I say here, look at the pattern, okay? Look at the pattern of this. And also, if you look at the function that you integrate with, um, if you take out this six, then you have this x plus y in the parentheses. And you want this to be simpler, so we let x plus y to be a single variable u. So, which is, which is a u right here. And that will make it simpler. So, the, so all, this, all those pattern and hint point to the same direction. So let u to be this, let v to be this, make this integral here simpler and also make the region here simpler, okay? Mm -hmm.